and it is kind of funny you started touching on you know how they will call us crooks or greedy or anything that was one of the things is oh you, your your contractor's crazy that's what the adjuster said well, we um, to the homeowner he, I, he I remember the job was like sixty thousand dollar job and we would not make any money we would lose everything. we're losing we're, we're, we're losing, losing money on a sixty thousand dollar job just on the just on the labor and materials there was there was nothing there My name is Demetri and in this video we're talking about supplements and why supplementing insurance companies are totally okay, there's nothing illegal, immoral, or whatever you call it, it's totally fine. Supplementing insurance company is a must for one simple reason, because insurance companies on a daily basis are underpaying contractors and homeowners. Again, it comes down to the topic of insurance company being in business first for themselves. It's all about saving money, it's all about numbers. Uh, people usually don't believe when we accuse insurance companies committing fraud on a daily basis. I do it all the time because I don't believe it's accidental. I don't believe it's just because they're so busy. I believe is because they want to save money. So what's usually happening, you have a claim, storm came through and they owe for acts of God damage. So they know they have to pay so what they do is they send an adjuster and adjuster comes out using software that he should be using that we use too he goes quickly puts estimate why is it so quick is he in a hurry it's his full-time job he he's trained and hired to do his work and he pretty much misses a whole bunch of lines and writes estimate let's say for nine thousand dollars well here's the ugly truth across the industry uh, claims are usually short about 30-40%. That's why insurance industry gave birth to entire industry within the industry. I'm talking about public adjusters, I'm talking about supplement agencies. There's so many people in business today only because insurance companies are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yet, homeowners like you are still believing that ins their insurance company have their best interest and when insurance company say we're gonna do this job for thirty thousand dollars and the contractor comes back and say it's not enough we're gonna supplement it for forty thousand dollars a lot of more time than not homeowners think that contractors being greedy not insurance underpaying people just don't believe in it well we don't make numbers, we don't create software. Insurance company pretty much say, hey, this is software, call Xactimate, we're gonna use it, and whatever it says, we're gonna pay. Well, in reality, they go above and beyond not to pay. Chris here does full-time uh, what I just described. He pretty much professional supplementer, been doing it for over 10 years. Um, what's your average, um, What's your average and what, how bad can it be on an increase side? Like what's your average increase on the file that you touch and what's the craziest you've seen? Like is it double, is it triple the amount? The, the average of what I see under bid, if you want to say, um, and it is true, that's where supplementing comes in. They literally tell you in your contract, in your, in your, in your insurance estimate, um, all supplements need to be done prior. They know it's going to be supplemented by anybody who does know what to do, and that that's they're underpaying it in the first place. That's why they they did they created that supplement part of it. But um, but do homeowners know it? No, and and that's really the thing. There's so many contractors out there that do this that don't know that either, so they don't really understand. And nobody reads their paperwork. That's the other thing too. Is educate yourself. Really, I mean, we we've talked a lot about that. Education is is huge. Educating your, yourself as a homeowner, educating yourself as a contractor, it, it's so important. Um, knowing what you're doing so you can actually help people the right way. I'd say in the average, just across the board, I would say somewhere in that 30 to 50 percent of what I would basically say under, under bid. Um, one of the biggest things that we get is we had a claim that we got this year uh, on a metal roof and it was under June of last year's price list and we just got done with it in, in August of this year because we just got the customer, I believe in like July of this year. Mm -hmm. uh, the insurance company approved to go ahead and, and allow us to do the work. But one of the thing, the biggest things that I had to do first off was to get them to update the price list. The price list alone on steel um, 
There's almost a double. Almost double. Prices went up. And well, in, 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 it's a worldwide thing. It had to do with the, the steel industry and all these tariffs mm -hmm. and all these different things going on. But that's all worldwide stuff. But what it did is, is, is it created a, uh, a large gap between where they wanted to be and where they're at. And it is kind of funny. You started touching on, you know, how they will call us crooks or greedy or anything. That was one of the things is, that, oh, your, your contractor's crazy. That's what the adjuster said. Well, we um, to money. the homeowner. He, I, he I remember the job was like a $60,000 job and we would not make any money. We would lose everything. We're losing, we're, we're we're losing, losing money on a $60,000 job. Just on the, just on the labor and materials. There was, there was nothing there. It was just because it was it had increased so much. But the first thing that we did is we had informed our homeowner, here's what's going to happen. They are going to call you. They are going to tell you we're crazy, we're crooks, we're trying to, to steal, we're doing this, we're doing that. And it was the original adjuster who was pretty upset that, you know, I increased it so much, but really what it was is he never looked into it. He just saw the number and, and panicked, mm -hmm. um, which was really unfortunate. Again, it's 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 everybody jumping and, and running off at the mouth with before they even think. Yep. Why is this? You know, look at it. When I do something, I give them a narrative. When I when I do a line item, I put a note on it. Here's why I'm doing this. And I really try to make their job easier so they understand where I'm coming from, painting a picture as to why we're doing what we're doing. Here you have it, guys. I know a lot of homeowners, if you're the homeowner, you're probably thinking, well, I'll find contractor to do it for this price. And you know what? You're right. Most of the time, you will find people to do it for, for, for the original amount. The problem with the original amount is statistics. Numbers don't lie. People lie all, all the time. Numbers don't lie. 90% of all contractors out there are going to be out of business in two years. Why? Because if you're not a profitable, if you're not running profitable operation, if you don't have profit comes to you to pay taxes, to pay overtime, to do business the right way, you will be out of business. So when insurance company is supposed to pay 50,000 and they pay 40, you will find somebody to do it for 40,000. But I guarantee you this, whoever takes the job, if he does it on a regular basis, if he always settles for less, he's not going to be in business for too long. You cannot be starving to death or running business on a break-even point and still take care of your customers. Find a contractor who does it right, who pays all the taxes, uh, educate his employees, do all the training. All of that comes with money and with the profit. So we are in business also to make money. and help small business small business is not even contractors are one of the hardest working guys you can find on the planet and don't make us feel bad for charging an insurance company what we should be charging what they agree to be charged and it's them who's attacking um, contractors more than other way around so if you're the homeowner I want you to start looking at things from a little bit different perspective insurance company is the one who is on a regular basis underpaying contractors and contractors is people who on a regular basis fight for more and not always because of greed but because we have to survive if we don't survive we're gonna have we're not gonna have lights in our buildings you know we're not gonna be able to pay our rent sometimes if we don't get paid by always the insurance company so think about that next time you hire contractor hope it helps and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching this video let me know what you think about the topic today in comments below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel